Transpiration. It is the process by which water passes through a plant and evaporates from its aerial parts, such as leaves, stems, and flowers. It is crucial for the control of temperature, the flow of gases, and the distribution of nutrients. Cause of transpiration. Because of the difference in air pressure, water molecules move from inside the leaf to the air outside during transpiration. The amount of water in the leaf cells and the distance between them both affect the air pressure inside the leaf. The humidity, temperature, wind, and sunlight all have an impact on the air pressure outside the leaf. Role played and organ involved. 1. Stomata. Many variables, including light intensity, carbon dioxide concentration, water availability, and plant hormones affect the opening and closing of stomata. Coordinating these factors helps the plant lose less water and exchange more gas. Mechanism. When the guard cells are flaccid, deflated with water, they collapse and close the stomatal pore. This reduces water loss but also limits gas exchange and photosynthesis. The opening and closing of the stomata are mainly regulated by the uptake and release of potassium ions, K+, by the guard cells. When there is enough light for photosynthesis, a blue light receptor called phytotropin activates a proton pump that exports protons, H+, out of the guard cells. This creates a negative charge inside the guard cells, which attracts K+, from the neighboring cells. As K+, enters the guard cells, water follows by osmosis, increasing the turgor pressure and causing the stomata to open. When there is low light or a high carbon dioxide concentration, the proton pump is deactivated and K plus leaves the guard cells through special channels. As K plus exits the guard cells, water also leaves by osmosis, decreasing the turgor pressure and causing the stomata to close. Factors such as light, carbon dioxide concentration, water availability, and plant hormones. Abscisic acid, for example, when there is enough light for photosynthesis, the guard cells absorb potassium ions and water, which makes them turgid and opens the stomata. Low light or high abscisic acid concentrations cause the guard cells to lose potassium ions as well as water, resulting in their flaccid state and stomata closure. In drought or at high temperatures, the plant hormone abscisic acid is produced, prompting the guard cells to close their stomata in order to conserve water. See video spraying for sleep. 2. Cohesion and adhesion forces. The xylem, a system of tubes used to transport water and minerals, is responsible for the movement of water from roots to leaves. Water is propelled against gravity by two forces, cohesion and adhesion. Due to hydrogen bonding, cohesion, value 0.07 n-m, is what causes a continuous water column to form within the xylem. On the other hand, the force that causes water molecules to adhere to the xylem walls and stop them from collapsing under the weight of gravity is called adhesion. The cohesion tension theory, also known as the transpiration pull theory, explains how water is lost by evaporation from stomata on the leaf surface, which are tiny openings that regulate the exchange of gas and water loss. As water evaporates from the stomata, the xylem is subject to negative pressure or tension, which causes more water to be pulled upwards from the roots. See the video sap ascent. 3. Roots. They are essential for the absorption of water and minerals as the downward pressure in the leaves causes water to reach the roots, resulting in a lack of water in the roots. This leads to increased water carving, which causes water to be absorbed from the surrounding soil. Factors influencing transpiration. 1. Temperature. The rate of transpiration depends on the temperature and the wind, among other factors. Temperature affects the amount of water vapor in the air and inside the leaf cells. When the temperature is high, water evaporates faster from the cells, creating more water vapor pressure inside the leaf. The air also becomes warmer and less humid, reducing the water vapor pressure outside the leaf. This increases the difference in water vapor pressure between the inside and outside of the leaf, which drives transpiration. When the temperature is low, the opposite happens. 2. Wind. 
Wind is the movement of air caused by differences in air pressure. It affects transpiration by changing the air around the leaf frequently. When there is no wind or still air, the air around the leaf becomes humid and has a high water vapor pressure, which slows down transpiration. When the wind is blowing or the air is moving, the air around the leaf is replaced by drier and less low-pressure air, which speeds up transpiration. 3. Sunlight Sunlight is the energy from the sun that reaches Earth. It affects transpiration by opening stomata and heating the leaf. Stomata are small pores on the leaf surface that let gas and water out. They are controlled by two cells that open when there is enough light for photosynthesis and close when there is low light or darkness. Sunlight also warms the leaf, which makes water evaporate faster from the cells and lowers humidity around it. 4. Relative Humidity The relative humidity of the air is the difference between the maximum amount of water vapor and the amount of water vapor present. When the relative humidity is high, the rate of respiration is lower, and when the relative humidity is low, it is higher. The reason for this is that when the humidity is high, there is more water vapor in the air, which reduces the air-to-leaf vapor pressure. Conversely, when the humidity is low, the air vapor pressure is higher, resulting in more water vapor being evaporated from the leaf. 5. Shoot slash ratio The root to shoot ratio is the ratio of the weight or area of roots to that of shoots, stems, and leaves. A plant with a high root to shoot ratio has more roots than shoots, which helps it get more water from the soil and maintain a high transpiration rate. The plant with a low root to shoot ratio has more shoots than roots, which limits its water absorption and lowers its transpiration rate. 6. Relative Humidity Relative humidity is how much water vapor is in the air compared to the maximum amount at the same temperature. The transpiration rate is lower when relative humidity is higher and higher when relative humidity is lower. This is because humid air has more water vapor, which makes the difference in water vapor pressure between the air and the leaf smaller. Dry air has less water vapor, which makes the difference in water vapor pressure bigger and makes more water evaporate from the leaf. Thank you.